Suns fan with Cinder, and we got Beast Coast versus Gaming Gladiators. Looking at what heroes they could have rotated in, who's going to stand up to this Eng? Trailbreakers. Incoming. Okay. Press the attack is there for Ace. Doesn't look like he's going to continue on. He will hit Celery, who gets hit by the Nether Blast as well. Booms up here, though. Yeah. Trying to get some heals up on the Celery, but Stinger's the only one that's going to be dying here. First Blood, the way of Gaming Gladiators. Seven minutes in. I think a lot of the time it's also a consequence of how they draft, right? I think in this game, their laning will just inherently be oh. weaker. Yeah, six stack is sticking Chris. to but Celery is in the bot lanes. We're going to see the Inkswell connect in the meantime onto C Smile, trying to find a kill on Tofu as Boom pretty much out of mana right now as Smile continuing to chase Tofu to actually kill each other, basically. So a one for one. As meanwhile, top lane, K1 doing a little bit of damage. Ace will be able to get out with just a sliver of HP, but Gojira with the charge and K1 rupture. Okay, that was a little scary there for a second, but Beast Coast gets the better of that trade in the top lane. Well, well as I say there, Gojira's dead. Par for the course for both teams, I think, with, with what we could expect with the lineups. Oh, boom. This is a very good oh, position boy. to be in against K1. Yeah, gets off the slide, but Searing Chain's not used yet, but K1, there we go. He's going to take some damage, but the slide of fist, nice dodge onto the blood ride. Not enough damage regardless, though, as Boom continuing to get charged here. Tofu looks like he's going to be taken out first, and Stinger will be the trade, so support for support. Boom's in trouble. He does not have a remnant. Okay, he does. Top lane. Tower is low. Yep, another Searing Chain's coming in, and Centaur Stomp as well. Gojira just silenced perpetually will fall, as well as that tier 1 tower, and now they're going on top of Pugna as well, so Stinger gets off the Decrepify, but Whisper is the real prize here for Gaming Gladiators. Another Stomp comes out with that Oh, uh, the last one got it off! is enough to take out Boom. Big turnaround for Beast Coast. They do lose two. That's uh, not possible. As Celery getting chased now by C Smile, he's going to get Reality Rifted onto the high ground, though. Two seconds done from Duraccio, trying to face him. Ace with that duel will be the first victory of the game for him. As Gaming Gladiator is trying to continue this onslaught, looks like two is going to be the limit. So this is a. If you could freeze the game right now and have a look, East Coast are probably Gojira's pretty happy over Dead. Oh, boom. Dodging some spells here. He gets the horsey off as well. Tofu. I think that's going to be enough to dissuade C Smile. He's going to get Searing Chains on Ace coming in with the dual Inkswell combo. Batrider is keeping it to support his team. C Smile looks like he's going to be fine for now. Whisper with the lasso onto the Legion. Stinger in the vicinity as well. Gets off the Decrep, and that is going to be a nice turnaround kill for Beast Coast. Celery. Yeah, a little early on the tip there, Durasho. Um, <laughs> you actually, the that, team didn't get the kill. We've but. seen that quite a bit this tournament, actually. Steering Chain's coming in as well. Boom. Has to be careful, though. Inkswell connects. Looks like they'll find one. Celery healing himself, but eventually will go down. But the Centaur stop onto two out of nowhere. He will fall eventually, though. And there's a Chaos Bolt onto Gojira. He just respawned. Looks like he's going to drop pretty much right away. Blood Rite's there from K1 as well. Does connect, but man, heroes are dropping left, right, and center, and K1 is dead as well. Duraccio just cleaning up. C Smile, last remaining member of Beast Coast, now on the run. He's going to grab his, himself a DD. We have the Blink Dagger now on CK and a smoke from Gaming Gladiators. There's the initiation with the duel. Another victory for Ace. What nice he got? And easy. 30 damage overall. That'd be a nice change if that actually retroactively worked, Sundaran. Mm. That could be a nice quality of life change for our favorite Legion commander. That's not what quality of life means, though. For the Legion, it is. Oh. So a buff. <laughs> Something like okay. that. Smile. All right, we got a lot of TPs from Gaming Gladiators. Two seconds stun. Remember, they don't have the Legion duel this time, as Soulbind is only going to connect onto one. They do take out Stinger quite easily and see Smile left to his own devices. Looks like he'll eventually fall as well. So nice two. Hero cleanup for Game and Gladiators, still with the Aegis intact. Uh, the Bristol as well as Pugna there. Obviously no BKB available just yet for Chris, so can't really protect himself from all the stuns. And yeah, they killed Pugna Gojira, first. That's going to be a short duel. He's not winning that. Yeah, but, you know, they get the kill nonetheless. And the outpost does not go to the enemy in this case. Stall out for another 1,300 gold for him, just because with the Batrider and Bloodseeker having theirs, so I actually think they're in fighting shape. But do you uh, want to fight into Aegis? Another minute. That is true. If they wait that out, probably wait that minute out, but then maybe you don't wait out the full... At that point, maybe you might as well. Like, how far away are you at that point? Oh, well, never mind. They do want to go. They want to go. Stinger, he's going to get dueled, but he completely surrounded. 
Looks like he'll find the dual kill himself, but here comes the counter initiation from, from Duraccio. K1 getting extremely low, will drop. That is a huge kill for Gaming Gladiators. Ace finally falls as Boom again just cleaning up left, right, and center, but CK's in a little bit of trouble. Gets a four second stun into his ult. C Smile now has to run himself, but instead will have to go back to the fountain. Four for one as Duraccio still getting chased. And it looks like he's still going to be able to arm the toggle through this. Another Chaos Bolt comes out for him, and Duraccio lives. Game of Gladiators just pounced on that immediately. Now they suddenly have a huge lead. It feels like moments ago that they were 2k ahead, and now it's 9. Yeah. And they're building oh towards boy. big items. Oh yeah. boy, press the attack. Duel with the Blade Mill. Trying to heal him up is Stinger, but it's not going to happen. And Beast Coast starting to crumble now. Two quick deaths for them. Looks like Gojira barely gets out, but Gaming Gladiators doesn't really care because they're going to get a Tier 2 tower in all likelihood as well. 23 minutes. Did you just say hella? Hella fast. Wow. That is so nice. A U thing. Is we going to have initiation? Okay. They're going to destroy Gojira. And now the Soulbind onto two. K1 has to oh, run the away. Duel. The duel actually brings them both back. That is disastrous. But the buyback on Gojira, can they do enough to come back in this fight? They're going to lose the Bristol back to start. Another beautiful slight. He's going to get yet another kill. They do lose their Legion, though, but that was an interaction I don't think I've seen, adding insult to injury in all likelihood. I like this from Beast Coast. Coast. I think this isn't particularly obvious if they do it really fast. They might find a big profile kill. Okay. Yeah, well, we got the duel. Blood Rite is there. This is going to slow this down a bit as Whisper trying to run away pops the BKB, but look, Gojira looking to die again. Duracho is going to whip him. Like the Pugna is going to be the first to fall in this little mini engagement. Gojira stuck inside the tree, gets a bash, but overwhelming odds is enough. And really Gaming Gladiators like, just getting everything they want. Really like the idea, but Gaming Gladiators are just so ready. I think it's a commendable play to try to play that aggressive, try to surprise your opponents because if you just chill out. And they've seen Beast Coast defend high ground to a very high degree uh, earlier today. No okay, onto the high ground we go. Instant death for Stinger. Believe that is a dieback for him. C Smile trying to take out Tofu, but he's just keeping out right in front of his face. And now Chris Smile trying to kill this Wraith Pact. That's all he's focusing on. Finally gets it. A beautiful 20, 20, gold. 20 gold for him. Woo! But now he's completely surrounded and brought down to his knees. Game and Gladiators looking to take Roche and game number one. <laughs> it deletes two items randomly <laughs> after 10 minutes. That could be an interesting comeback mechanic. Ice Frog, I'm available to hire. Okay, so smoke up on both sides. Somehow that was a way worse idea than what I was setting it up for. As always, Stinger, he's going to be the first to get Searing Chains. Boom pops the BKB, the leash onto two. Already a death on the side of Beast Coast. Tofu, looks like he's going to drop it. There's the duel onto Gojira. Another duel victory for Ace. As three dead already for Beast Coast. Onto the cliff, pulling an Arteezy. They know they're not in the tournament. Might as well go out in style. Triple kill for Boom. And the only remaining member of Beast Coast is K1. So insanely overwhelming damage against this. No problem. They're actually already setting up for the second lane. He's heading down bottom, spawning an illusion with the Chaos, chaos Bolt. Yeah, to work. And technically, nothing is really impeding them from going for Mega Creeps either. There is no Tier 1, Tier 2 tower in the top lane. We'll True. See if they have enough damage to actually do that. Now that the Phantasm Illusions are down, so at the very least, like you said, get two sets, and we'll see how disciplined they want to play. Still with the Aegis, though, in minute 20, so I'd expect them to play. It just like, shows how rich he is and the, <laughs> the luxury he has of his itemization. And this is looking like the last stand for Beast Coast in game number one. Duraccio, not really too afraid. Actually, a nice bash back into the lasso. Remember, he does have the Aegis. So that's death number one. Gojira's already dead. Stinger trying to heal him, but has to be careful as Boom's been hunting him all game long. Now all the damage applied to the CK, but gets the BKB and Phantasm off. K1 is just going to drop to the Illusions and boom. And it looks like this is going to finally end game number one. Gaming Gladiators looked at their absolute best when Boom is playing Ember or Storm, right? Like, those are his two complete standout heroes. Whatever the case may be, it's a Rubik and an Io. How much can they do uh, to gank this mid lane? I mean, you can do a lot with Relocate, right? But that's not going to be in the mid lane early on. It's going to be later in the game that you're going to X mark someone. Oh, Duraccio stunned to the tower, but a nice sleep from Celery, keeping Whisper at bay. Duraccio getting He actually almost died low. anyway. He did. Oh, Fade Bolt is enough, so Gojira gets first blood for Beast Coast. Oh, Duraccio wanted to go back in knowing that the rest of Beast Coast fell back to that mid lane. Looking for a potential kill onto Whisper. They got some damage. Not a whole lot of mana to work with, though. Taking off the sleep is the Rubik. 
Dinger connected now to Whisper. It looks like they're going to go onto this Bane. Tofu is in the area, but not able to save his fellow support. So Celery down with that rebuke. Okay, oh. Remnant. Okay, Ember Spirit out of nowhere. Boom, with the slight double damage applied as well. In theory... Oh, hang on. No. <laughs> God, get that off the screen. Disgusting. Boom. <laughs> he was smoked up for so long. They were actually very patient in that triangle. And Celery, with the first Fiend's Grip of the game, looks like it's going to lead to a kill onto Whisper. Right. Whisper takes that haste rune. See the Rocket Barrage from K1. Trying to deal damage to Boom, but Boom just focusing on Stinger right now. Still with the Remnant, gets a slide of fist off. Nicely done. Meanwhile, the Mars Arena was used. The Monkey King hasn't really been involved in much of anything. He's just been farming. They have been br bringing the Gyro a little bit to moves uh, in order to find successful kills. He's, he's got only one assist to his name, but they did bring him to another move that wasn't successful. Oh, well, Arena, so but instant more dependent. sleep from Celery. Still going to get pinned to the Arena. And it looks like he will fall shortly after. And with the counter initiation now from Gaming Glanders, they still want to fight. Balance Strike onto two. Remnants to come. Oh, that Finding line. like a little bit of miscommunication there, but Kojira still falls. So one for one. K1 now hooked up with Stinger. And boom, very little mana to speak of, but bottles up. And obviously there's a Coddle nearby, so he's good to go. So still, all this action is another one-for-one one just supports. I think Beast Coast might want to try to fight now, but they need to be careful with getting into 5v5s. I think their goal should be to find an X mark or to find an arena and then use Relocate and Outnumber. Flat out 5-on-5 five five does not oh, look great for them. It against pops. The they know that somebody's close to this Tier 1 tower. They don't know who, though. Phantasm oh, they got popped. Whisper. Yep, they got the Searing Chain. Spear's going to whip. Illuminate doing a ton of damage. He's brought back in and brought to his knees. First to die. Ace, though, looks like he's going to take the brunt of this damage with the boat into the Chaos Bolt. So ends up being another one for one. But this time, the offlane for offlane. I think the I think the BKB into maybe a higher damage oh. item. Hold that horse, Cinder and Celery, with the grip. We have the relocate coming. Boom, thinking about going in. Gets off the slide, but there's the arena. Nice, nice dodge from Celery. Looks like he'll still fall, but look at the commitment from Beast Coast to try to counteract this. They bring their literal entire team aces here all of a sudden. He's going to get grip. That's a stolen grip from Gojira. Nicely done. Wukong's command from Duraccio. Not going to be enough to save his comrade at arms, but boom. If they can get this kill onto K1, this will be huge. Searing Chains. He's dropping slowly. Another right click. Not quite enough. Boom. Finally, with the sleight of fist, brings him down. Tofu will be the trade, though. And boom, boom really wants another to get more to now. Go. Absolutely. He's dealing so much damage. Double kill for him. As Whisper has to be careful because Duraccio's still in the trees. Gojira instant telekinesis. Doesn't matter. The balance strike is to come. Mischief keeps oh, flying no a little bit longer. Duraccio looks like he's going to be able to get out just fine. Man, that was close. That was clutch as all hell from Duraccio to actually get away from that situation. Oh, Whisper actually guessed the tree. Next team fight is going to be so crucial. If East Coast managed to find it before the BKB is online on Monkey King, I think I favor them. It's, he's very close, though. He found another nice bit of farm in the jungle with stacks. Arena. Yep. Celery easy inside kill. and dead. And stolen was Brain Sap. I would assume Beast Coast slightly... Yeah, I like Beast Coast in an arena fight simply because they have this better saves, right? They can telekinesis out, they have relocate, they have ghost ship. Um, so they have more options of resetting and disengaging, and I think the key hero to look out for will be Boom on that Ember to try to chase down and kill the supports. You want to kill Io and Rubik here. A1 getting Battle slowed ball. down. Nightmare set up. Boundless Strike is there as well. Chaos Bolt as well. Whisper gets off the arena, though, but they've lost the Gyro. And now Whisper running away. The rest of his team was trying to go for a gank in the top jungle to try to wrap around, but it ends up costing them two cores. Awesome Nightmare from Celery on the Io. Dinger. Couldn't do anything. Trying to run away, still attached to the teammates. Duraccio and company look to be finishing off their third hero. Ace awkwardly up here. Still has his TP. Very well done by the Gladiators. The I'm not sure how Celery reached that nightmare. It has to have been during a tether or something. He was very far away from him and he doesn't have Aether Lens. Is but this enough to Roche? That essentially just set that up. I think they have enough time, probably. Yeah, it's going to be too late. So Gaming Gladiators with that 5k lead now and Aegis, they got that has been the stable item for Bane for seemingly ever, has been to get that lane. Oh, oh they catch up. Initiation. They find Stellar again, but boom, Free pick. wasn't inside, so they'll have to settle for the support. Done because of the Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> oh, right, right. <laughs> K1 getting slowed perpetually. We'll be able to get back to base, but it doesn't look like Gojira is going to be so lucky. And this Tier 2. 
Beast Coast being a little bit oh, annoying. Celery could make a big play here. Okay. Nightmare Celery Grip, but he is missile. the grip. Here comes the Ember Spirit. There's another sacrifice for Celery. If they're able to kill K1, this will be worth it. BKB still down. Looks like he's going to oh. drop, though. Where was the tether? the seconds of no gyrocopter. Smile forced to BKB and run away. So another defensive BKB usage from Beast Coast. I like that. Oh, okay. On to Smile we go. Or gaming gladiators has to pop his BKBs. The Mars Arena from Whisper, the BKB from him as well. Again, focusing on Celery. Looks like they'll find him eventually, along with Tofu as well. Buyback though, on to Celery. Zoraccio gets off that Wukong's command. Both supports dead for Beast Coast as K1 attempting to get out, but a nice balance strike onto two. Zoraccio cleans up K1. Whisper left all alone. And it looks like he is next on the list for, for gaming gladiators. And they have extended this lead to 11k. Also can't disjoint the Chaos Bolt because he's already sitting in the Monkey Stun. And you saw him use Manta on 5% health because he was stunned from 80 to there. So not really much to do. First lane of Barracks goes the way of Gaming Gladiators. And they're just looking like... They're just looking like the stronger team, which arguably isn't too surprising considering how the groups went, considering how they were looking against TSM. But you had this thought in the back of your mind, okay, can they do it on the big stage? Are they going to mess up a little bit and throw right. away their lead? Has not been the case today at all. Yeah, they have been... Uh on another level today, for sure. And I think they were quite angry with their performance against TSM. Of course, nothing to take away from TSM as they played extremely well in addition. So two sets of racks for Gaming Gladiators as now Beast Coast about to get their full lineup back from the Fountain. It looks like Gaming Gladiators might want to still fight. Boundless Strike. Now on the retreat they go, but there's the Nightmare onto Boom. So the rest of the team has to stay for staff. There's the arena, but the BKB pop from Boom, and again, focusing on Celery. That is essentially a dieback for him. And now the focus on the K1 and company. Oh, boom is out of Remnant. Yep. Okay, the rebuke. Oh. That's a double kill for Whisper. Ace finds one kill in the meantime. He gets out the Phantasm as well. Inside the Wukong's command, down goes Gyro again. No buyback. And the buyback comes out from Boom, so he can get back extremely fast, and this looks to be it as Gaming Gladiators knocking Beast Coast out if things continue. So Beast Coast with a very good run in this tournament, but it looks like it ends here. On to the Ancient they go, so Gaming Gladiators, GG is called. Very, very impressive performance from them.